Okay, so in this example, we're supposed to compute the integral, um, this integral, where c is the curve uh, y equals x squared from the point 0, 0 to the point 2, 4, and then uh, the, line in it, the line segment to 3, 0. Um, so this is a path integral because the integrand is a scalar function and since there's, it's a piecewise um, function, we have to do two separate integrals. So our first integral um, is going to be for C1, which is going to be the curve y equals x squared. So um, for this, we're going to use function times this is our path integral over the curve C1 um, and we're going to parameterize this curve so y equals or x equals t and y will equal t squared uh, from 0 0 to 2 4 so our t is going to go from Zero to two, and our integral is then going to go from zero to two. So we have two y in the integrand. So this is going to be two times t squared from here, and we're going to multiply this times the arc length of our velocity, the magnitude of which is going to be the the magnitude of our velocity vector. So our velocity vector is. the magnitude we put that we multiply what we had before times the arc length And um, when we put this into a calculator, we come out with the answer 16.9424. So our, that is our, um, that's the path integral from, on, along this curve, C1. So for the second curve, it's a line segment from our ending point here our ending point here to this point, our ending point to the other curve to this new ending point, and it's going to be line segment. So we'll parameterize this one by using the formula point times the direction times t. So for x we have plus t. Um, for x we have uh, our point here, so 2 first, plus our direction which is 3 minus the 2. So that's going to be 1 times t, and then which, which is going to end up equaling 2 plus t. And then our y is going to equal our the second part, the y component of the point, 4 plus our direction, which is 0 minus 4, so it's negative 4, times t, and that equals 4 minus 4t. So 
and the, and t goes from zero to one. So our integral is going to go from zero to one, and it's two y. So we multiply this times two, so it's going to be eight minus eight t, and then we have to multiply that by the magnitude of our velocity vector like we did in the first problem. So this time it's going to be uh, our r t. When we take the magnitude, equals the square root of 17, and we put that in here. And when we put that into a calculator, we come out with the answer 16.4. Nine, two, four, and now with both with the path integral along those two curves, to get the total, we add them together. C one plus C two it equals three, three point four three. Four, eight.